Hello everyone, this is Crota coming at you. And for those of you guys who are, well, following me and have been following, following with me and, and know that I just moved, this is another update I just found over, over the weekend. We had a broken pipe under the dishwasher. So, yes, I'm going to do a little bit of a rant because I don't work in an office building and I can't complain to people. A lot of water damage. It's currently 100 degrees in the house and I have to keep all the windows closed so that everything can dry. Um, yeah, it is very, very hot. If you guys want to send me some pity money, please do so as it will at least make me smile just a bit. Water damage can be very expensive and no word yet on whether or not our home insurance will cover it. All right, anyways, let's take a look at what's happening here. This is going to be Sichi versus Hawk game one in what I believe to be a best of seven show match series. I am only going to be casting the first three games today and hopefully um, all of these games are going to be very entertaining. On the bottom left hand side of the map we have Sichi spawning as the yellow undead. Meanwhile on the top right we have Hawk spawning as the teal human. Human versus undead always a very very interesting matchup as things are now getting underway. <clears throat> As customary, you are going to see Hawk opening up with this arcane tower. Very, very important to not allow skeletal minions to try and do much harassment. Meanwhile, on the bottom left, let's take a look at Sichi's build. He is going for a graveyard, which normally means a uh, crypt fiends. Tomb of relics is already in pl or already uh, being summoned, and things are gonna get started here in just a moment. Now, I apologize to begin with if I am a little confused. I sometimes get confused in very, very hot weather. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a, take a look at what's going on here. 5 uh, three, 3 creep camp with the 3 one, 1 creep camp. The Acolyte purposely bringing over the aggro here and making it a little bit more difficult to try and take down. Is the Acolyte going to get the kill there? No, it does not. And the Acolyte does get taken down though. Meanwhile, we are looking at this Archmage who is not using the Lightning Shield to his advantage. And that means that the Death Knight may be able to run on in here and get a quick kill. Yes, he does. The Archmage still quite a ways away from level 2. Meanwhile, the Death Knight looks like he is going to be able to get off one more shot there. Is he going to be able to do a long distance Death Coil? No, he is not. Unless he is willing to take a little bit of Arcane damage. Archmage pushing back the Death Knight already. Death Knight doesn't like what he sees, will be backing off. And Sichi did do a good job there. He just needed to disrupt things. He needed to make sure that the Archmage didn't immediately get to level 2, giving him extra mana. We'll see if that extra mana makes much of a difference later. It's probably about 30 mana at this point. Um, between the Brilliance Aura now and the Brilliance Aura about a minute ago as the Footman now going to get taken down but not taken out by the Death Coil of the Death Knight. Not quite sure why the Death Knight didn't Death Coil him earlier. Probably had plenty of time as we're now venturing forth off to the north and the Archmage is now once again calling Militia over to try and clear out this Rock Golem gold mine. Now, the Rock Golem gold mine with double water elemental should be an easy, easy um, pick if it wasn't for the harassment again. Sichi now coming back around, coming in with skeletal minions. You can see that the Death Knight wants to get in a little bit of a steal here. Is it going to be able to get anywhere? That is the big question. Perhaps taking down a water elemental or two would be very, very smart. As you can see, many of the elementals are very, very low on hit points. There goes another Death Knight just shy of level 2. Should be able to get to level 2 here. No, the Water Elemental actually disappears. And now this Footman is on the run for his life. There's level 2 on the Death Knight. Unholy Aura quickly picked up as the Skeletal Minions are now venturing forth. Footman now coming back over. Death Knight does have a little bit more regeneration going on. A long fight going on here as the Archmage looking to try and run around. Archmage really wants to get to level 3. Doesn't want to drop a level, another level 2 Water Elemental. And it looks like the Skeletal Minion is going to fall here. If it falls, that is going to be level 3. There you go. Now the Archmage is going to drop a level 2 Water Elemental. And things are going to change. That Water Elemental dealing extra damage, having more hit points. Definitely, definitely a big play there as the Crypt Fiend, already low on hit points, now once again on the run. 
Death Knight chasing after an Archmage. Archmage now down to 215 some odd hit points, 220, continuing the rise. And now the Archmage is actually in a little bit of trouble. The Death Knight trying to get in, in, in range of the Archmage. Archmage, however, is slightly faster, even though the, no, the Death Knight is slightly faster. The Death Knight does have Unholy Aura. No boots of speed on that Archmage. But can the Death Knight really close in enough gaps? He, it looks like he, it is not that much faster um, for the Death Knight as the Archmage now picks up the boots of speed. And with those, he's going to be able to gallivant around the woods, not worrying about that Death Knight. Death Knight, however, getting up to critical mana will be able to get off a Death Coil pretty easily. As you see the Arcane Tower taking a fair bit of damage. You can see the Arcane Tower down to 120 some odd hit points. Now being forced to retreat here as the Footman now taking a bit of damage. Let's take a look back to what's going on here. Archmage gets a free, absolutely free Crypt Fiend in the middle of nowhere. Not quite sure how that happened. And now the Death Knight who is currently low on mana again, cannot really go up against um, Hawk's Archmage. Sichi is in serious trouble. He is now looking to back off here. Crypt Fiends are now pulling back. Footmen are there as well. And Sichi now chasing back off to the top right-hand side, perhaps to chase down some of those Footmen again. All right, Water Elemental is coming forth once again. Death Knight now making its way back down. Crypt Fiends are all in position, and what's going to be happening here are the Crypt Fiends, currently with their 1-0 upgrades, looking to creep out the Creep Camp while staying on Blight. That is going to be very beneficial as the units do regenerate hit points relatively quickly on Blight. You can see there it goes. Meanwhile, may try and creep out the bottom right-hand corner here in just a moment. The Death Knight still sitting at level 2. There's a Death Coil. Is he going to pick up a Tome of Strength? Yes, he is, and he does not even bother trying to finish off the rest of these units. He's going to now chase after the Human Hawk. Hawk's Archmage currently at only... Uh, 300 hit points give or take as the death knight now once again trying to give chase it looks like another water elemental will be taken down uh, as the death knight now nearing 500 hit points but with these towers here arcane and guard the f uh, death knight is not going to be able to really easily push even um, a heavy heavy frost nova may not be enough here as we're looking at skeletal minions rushing force trying to take a look at what's going on inside hawk space all right, Lich is here. Crypt Fiends are all in position. We are going to be perhaps be trying to go for a little bit of a push. That Arcane Vault is relatively low on hit points. 37 over 54 supply compared to 39 over 40. We are about even in terms of supply. And um, all Hawk really has going for him is the fact that he has the extra economy. However, if um, CG can make a bit of a play here, perhaps force an engagement out away from those guard towers, he could really, really come back over the top and deal a significant amount of damage. That footman took a beating but keeps on ticking as the Crypt Fiends still making their way forward to try and take down this all-important Arcane Vault. All right, Obsidian Statue has joined on the fight. There goes one footman. Militia now coming in to reinforce. Militia, are they going to be able to come back around? All the Lich needs to do is start landing some Frost Novas on those militia and those fast moving militia all of a sudden become slow moving militia which makes them much much less durable and also has them deal significantly less damage all right let's take 39 over 40 supply 12 over 420 now that is bad news as the death knight once again heals another one of his units and will be able to back off again all right death knight Crypt Fiends attempting to take down the Arcane Vault. Arcane Vault has taken an absolute beating so far, but is constantly being repaired at this point. Constantly, constantly being repaired. Footman, Archmage with a Clarity Potion now making its way back over. Are they going to be able to actually hit and deal some damage? The Lich is there. The Death Knight is there. However, they're not going to try to really invest in anything as the Water Elemental is going after the units again. All right, um, Water Elemental, however, now being forced to back off. Obsidian Statue is right there. We're going to see one Guard Tower now taken down. Hawk um, not able to deal with the Crypt Fiends that Sichi is constantly, constantly healing. And all we need to see is this Water Elemental taken down here. Turn around. There goes one shot. That Death Knight getting ever closer to level 4. It looks like this is going to turn into a bit of a base race. And if you are up on bases, that is generally a very, very safe bet as the Tomb of Relics looks like it will be falling soon. All right. 
I don't know if Sichi is going to be able to continue this pressure. There are three guard towers still left. And those guard towers do deal significant amounts of damage um, to the Crypt Fiends, the Lich, and the Death Knight. If not high numbers, fast numbers, as you can take a look, 23 to 27 medium damage with a very fast attack rate. Water Elementals and Archmage has already taken down the Tomb of Relics. We are now looking at them trying to take down another Ziggurat here. And the Ziggurat is important because if it does go down, it will end up supply blocking um, Sichi. Sichi needs to keep that Ziggurat up and alive. Meanwhile, more and more buildings going to get taken down here. That back guard tower currently being upgraded. It looks like the Arcane Vault is going to be falling. And once it falls, um, is that going to be the end of this base here? All right, Crippings are just going to continue to push. Arcane Tower not hitting the Death Knight for some strange reason. And now finally hitting the Death Knight, slowly draining away that mana. But you can see Cryptfin or Peasant after Peasant is falling. Meanwhile, Acolytes are all being pulled off from the line to try and repair the Ziggurat. Not going to... Oh, wow. Yeah, not going to be happening as the Footmen now make their way over and try and take down these Acolytes. Footmen, Crypt Fiends, Triple Water Elementals, all of them battling it out. The Crypt Fiends are now trying to, or the Crypt Fiends are trying to hide in the back of the base. The Spirit Towers are all right there as well. Meanwhile, a very, very large fight happening off over here, only to get scared away by Militia once more. The Militia have really been the heroes in this game, constantly, constantly being called to arms back from the main base for Hawk. All right. Units are falling. There goes a there goes an acolyte. Another footman may be falling, may fall here as well. Is it gonna go down? Lich needs to get over there. Not many acolytes are left. There goes another acolyte here. As the footmen are still trying to give chase. All right, there goes another. We see another acolyte trying to hide back down over here. Are we training up more acolytes? Yes, we are. Staff of uh, teleport or no scroll of town portal now teleporting everyone back to the northern position. And the Death Knight now needs to do a full-on retreat, but the Mountain King may stop that short. If we see a Stormbolt, oh, there's a Stormbolt on a very easy unit. And if we even see a Bash at this point, that would just be simply too much. And it looks like Hawk is going to be able to take Game 1 with little to no effort. Just now walking up to that Death Knight, taking him down. And there is the GG. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed Game Number 1.